Hey everyone, Zywarm here. Today another PoE video about a recent news post with the big question, will texture streaming be fixed? I wanted to shed some light on this from my perspective as the post is rather technical but it may actually solve quite a few issues. The way Path of Exile and many other video games work for that matter is that it uses your video RAM to hold its assets that are then rendered as you play. The result of a rendered asset is basically anything you see on screen. The renderer available in PoE are DirectX 11 and Vulkan. When a graphics card runs out of VRAM because it holds too many assets, DirectX 11 still works because it starts to move assets back and forth from your graphics card to your regular RAM in the PC itself. Vulkan however doesn't do this and crashes. A typical Vulkan crash occurs for example when a legion spawns because all of a sudden a huge amount of assets needs to be rendered because a huge amount of monsters suddenly appear which leads to your graphics card running out of VRAM and if you use Vulkan you crash. As a result a lot of people including myself crashed on Legion. You think you should therefore just use DirectX 11 but that's honestly even worse because overall performance on Vulkan is great it's just that the crashing is there and that's a bit of an issue. The asset swapping from DirectX 11 that I talked about from VRAM to let's say your regular RAM in your PC has a huge hit on performance and slows things down considerably. Even if you don't know the technical terms and how this works technically behind everything, you will still notice that typically when you do use DirectX 11 you simply have worse performance, so most people prefer Vulkan. Grinding Gear Games try to fix this matter by putting a sort of limiter on the usage of VRAM that did fix a lot of crashes, however it also means that you can hold less assets in the memory of the graphics card. To counter this they invented a system if you will that dynamically loads and unloads assets based on whether it thinks you require those assets in the near future. As a result, you sometimes run around a map of which some assets, or more specifically textures, aren't yet loaded. The dynamic loading and unloading basically wrongly predicted which assets or textures were required. If you've ever seen missing textures in other games, you notice that they usually stand out quite a bit. I did my fair share of Skyrim modding back in the day and whenever you had a missing texture over there because you messed up some mod, it was bright purple. Other games with missing textures, they usually make them bright green. GGG's missing textures are apparently simply black but they didn't want to display that, so instead they invented texture streaming, which is nothing more than putting a low resolution texture in place until the actual texture has been loaded or has been streamed. This way you see at least something and it's not bright purple, bright green or black. And this has led to the whole texture streaming debacle of late, because while I'm sure this was supposed to be a solution for just a few very specific cases, in the end it turned sometimes half your map into low level textures. And and it got even worse because sometimes entire assets wouldn't be loaded at all, but they would exist in the game, meaning that for example Cirrus would shoot invisible lasers or you would be killed by a pack of invisible enemies that simply hadn't been rendered yet. It was, and it is still, pretty bad. The situation has been like this since the last leak by the way. This post describes a solution to at least some of these issues and that is to simply remove the limiter of the VRAM usage I spoke about earlier, or what the post calls a conservative usage of VRAM. This will be changed into an aggressive usage of VRAM, meaning your graphics card can hold more assets, more textures, meaning that the whole loading unloading doesn't need to happen as often or maybe at all, meaning that you shouldn't encounter missing textures, meaning that texture streaming is not a thing anymore, at least in theory. And of course the more VRAM you have the more you will benefit from this change. Which makes sense also overall because the more VRAM you have, the more you paid for your graphics card, the better the game should run. I think that's very logical at least. But it should be an improvement for a lot of users according to the post, also those with mid-range graphics card. I'm curious to see if the aggressive usage of VRAM will have other problems increase again or occur again. For example, I haven't crashed a single time in this league with around 270 hours of playtime. Last league I crashed an awful lot. Hopefully this change doesn't mean that Vulcan can somehow run out easier and still crash, although that should be fixed in theory at least. And I think overall it is safe to assume that this VRAM update won't change everything and it won't fix everything, but it should be a step in the right direction and who knows maybe that pesky texture streaming for a lot of users will actually be solved. 
This update is planned to be rolled out early next week, so hopefully for a lot of you, texture streaming will be gone soon. I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, consider liking or subscribing. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside, guys. You know how it is. See you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.